this episode, I'll be speaking with the president of Planet Africa Group. Hello, I'm Shannon Skinner, and this is Extraordinary Women TV. Well, joining me today is Patricia Bebia Mawa. She's the president of Planet Africa Group. She is also the host producer of Planet Africa Television, and she wears uh, a number of other hats in the world of media. Now, you'll meet her in a moment. Later in the interview, before I take a break, I'll have my regular Good to Know Minute when I ask my guests for their top success tip, and you'll hear Patricia's. Well, welcome to the show, Patricia. Thank you, Shannon. I, I'm happy to be here. It's so nice having you here. Now, you wear a lot of hats. I mean, you run a multimedia company, you produce TV series and documentaries and magazines, and uh, it, it all sounds really exciting, but it, it all began uh, not in Canada. Yes. Um, actually, it all began in Nigeria, and um, my um, career in the media was just, you know, share a divine orchestration, because what happened was that um, I wanted to be a lawyer. Um, if you ask most Nigerians, they either want to be lawyers, doctors, or something professional, because uh, our parents demand that of us, you know, for the most part. Um, but um, w while I was in university studying, you know, political science, eventually to become uh, a lawyer, to go into law, um, I was also in church at the time, um, running a theater group. So one day, um, while I was actually um, moderating one of those plays, uh, someone came to me and said, oh, you speak so well. Uh, we're looking for someone to host a, a TV show. Would you be interested? And I was like, I'm a student. And he like, no, it's OK. It's just on weekends. And I said yes. And that was how it all began. Um, so after that, I got a job, a full-time job, to work at a TV station. Um, and then eventually came to Canada for a, a training organized by CBC Television. Um, and after that, went to school at Algonquin College and, um, you know, then um, met my husband Moses, who was also in the media. Um, so when we met up in Ottawa in uh, 2000, actually, uh, a few years ago, um, we decided to actually start a TV show um, because it was really nothing like Planet Africa on television. Um, and we went knocking at a few doors and we got so many no's at that time. Everybody said no. Um, a show like that would not be sustainable because the community is not economically viable enough. Um, but we proved to them that, you know, it can be done. And eventually we got a yes from Omni. And we've been doing the show now for 10 years. And many other things have actually been born just from that, you know, initiative. Well, so in, through this experience, um, I mean, were you drawn to sort of the lights and camera um, excitement of being around the studio, did that have anything to do with sort of pulling you through this, this career of television? Um, it's interesting because I, I love theater. I was like a media enthusiast. I liked watching television. Um, I remember when I was younger, I had Oprah Winfrey's picture on my wall. My dad pulled it down and said, you know, you can't have that. Um, but um, I, I kind of loved the media, theater and all that kind of stuff. So. I think there was a divine, you know, sort of hand that pushed me towards my destiny because I, I feel that this is what I was born to do. Um, I, I, know, I also love inspiring people um, and just educating people, sharing whatever information I find. So um, I also kind of love to, to sort of be part of, you know, helping people to find their destiny and their purpose. And that's what we do with our TV show and our magazines. So. Um, it, it's exciting. Now, let's talk about, I mean, what is Planet Africa Group? Um, the name Planet Africa, we wanted to do something that will um, sort of, you know, embrace our diversity as the black community because, um, as you know, people of African origin, uh, some of us were born on the continent, uh, but some of us were born in the Caribbean and others who were born in the diaspora, like in Canada or the U.S. or elsewhere. So we wanted to do something, something that will embrace all this, you know, different groups. So we wanted to call it Planet Africa, meaning wherever you were born on the planet, if you have a connection to Africa, either by heritage or friendship, you're part of the vision. So we started a TV show first, um, which actually, you know, showcases success stories and um, role models for our young people. Uh, we also show things that are, you know, entertaining, educating to our community. Um, and in 2005, we wanted to start the magazine to sort of document our history because the TV show showcases us. We wanted something to document our history and we started Planet Africa magazine. And then we also do the Planet Africa Awards, which actually recognize people 
um, that are doing amazing things in the community, you know, um, people of excellence. So in a nutshell, this is what Planet Africa does. And we have a mentorship program also uh, for young people in the community uh, where we bring um, successful individuals to speak to them and inspire them to aspire for excellence in their lives. And I think this is a perfect time to take a break. So we have a break coming up, and that means it's my good to know minute. And Patricia, I know you've got a great success tip. Yes, um, I have actually, you know, never gotten anything that easy in my life. And that has helped me um, not to only have faith, but to be persistent. So I would say to people out there, be persistent, have faith, and be positive. Um, don't give up on your dream because you've had someone say no to you or you're not good enough. You can do it if you persist and you're passionate about it and you have faith. you definitely get to the top. You're going nowhere else other than up. And that's good to know. <laughs> and thanks for that. Well, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, more on Extraordinary Women TV. So stay where you are. Well, welcome back to Extraordinary Women TV. I'm Shannon Skinner, and I'm speaking with Patricia Babia Mawa. She is the president of Planet Africa Group. She's a host and producer of Planet Africa Television and uh, has a, a number of other hats, uh, magazines and a huge media empire, I understand. Um, now, as your business grew, um, what did you have to do to sort of refine it and define it? Yeah, I think um, as a business person, um, if excellence um, and, you know, principles that have helped other businesses to succeed out there uh, are principles that you stand by, you definitely would succeed. And for us, we um, each time, you know, studied our market and we also always tried to fulfill, um, to fill a need, you know, and uh, we, we started Planet Africa and we realized that there was a need for a product like diversity, you know, to celebrate, you know, the multicultural communities in Canada. And, you know, Diversity Magazine was born. And we're Christians and we thought, why not have a publication where, you know, Christians can, you know, um, be encouraged and inspired to be better Christians. And that's how Destiny Magazine was born. So basically, we just, you know, it's, if we see that there's a need and we can fill that need with, you know, something that will help people live better lives. I think um, the, the first thing as an individual um, in business is to find out what is my purpose? What do I want to do? Um, what do I have to offer that make that, that is unique, that only me can do this way? And I think for us, we, um, our purpose is to inspire people to, to, to actually, you know, achieve better goals for themselves to, um, you know, get to their destination, their destinies, if you want to put it that way, um, through the media. So we um, have a few media platforms that we use to do that, and we also build in other platforms, either on the internet or through other multimedia tools. So basically, um, we, you know, when we identify a need, we use one of our platforms or tools um, to fulfill it. So in, in your purpose now of to inspire others to find their purpose, uh, how has this changed your life? Or has it? Uh, you know, growing up, um, my childhood was a little bit, uh, you know, a mix. You know, I have some good memories, but it was a very painful time for me because um, I was bullied in school. Um, and um, I remember once when, you know, the kids used to make fun of me because I was so thin and I was always sickly. Um, but one day, um, I scored a very high mark in a particular subject, and the teacher said to the other kids, you know, um, I, want, I want to give you all an assignment. Go ask Patricia how she got the answer to this question. And um, I noticed that all my bullies became my friends, you know, and um, this made me realize that, okay, if you do something well, even those that hate you will be your friends. So um, that has helped me to be very... Uh, you know, hard working in whatever I did and to pursue, you know, a level that's uh, close to excellent, you know, not, not perfection, but do my best in everything, you know, that I, I, I do. Um, but, you know, what we do right now is, um, if you look at read our magazines, um, you see that we're always trying to inspire, to tell you that you can do better than you, you, where you were. And 
um, this has helped me personally to grow as a human being. There are times I've said to myself, practice what you preach, you know, practice what you preach. Um, when I'm going through stuff in my life, I remember that article I did for the magazine um, that was to inspire people to, you know, go through struggle and come out, you know, stronger and better. So I'll say what we do has helped me personally to be a better person or even forgiveness. Um, if you run a business, you have to have a big heart because, you know, people will offend you. People will be offended by you. Um, but from what we're teaching through the magazine, I have personally become a better human being in, you know, sort of um, living what we're preaching in all these platforms that we have. And so, Patricia, do you have family back in Nigeria? Oh, yeah. Actually, um, I came to Canada by myself. I have absolutely no family but my husband and children. So, um, actually, my cousin just came uh, to Canada a couple of years ago. So, I have one cousin and the rest of my family is uh, back in Nigeria. And so, what do they have to say about your success? Are they proud of you? My mom, she's one of uh, our biggest fans because the, the show also airs, uh, Planet Africa airs in Nigeria as well. So my family get to watch, you know, watch me on television there and um, I send them copies of the magazine as well. Um, they're very proud and inspired. And they've always, my mom says she always knew that I was going to do something like this because right from when I was a kid, she said I've always, you know, been that kid that was trying to help others and inspire them, you know, so. Um, it's, it's been really great for my family, just seeing how far, you know, my husband and I have been able to build uh, the business. And Patricia, one last question. How would you define success? Success is giving whatever you're doing your best. And once you do that, you will make an impact. Patricia, I've enjoyed this time uh, with you and getting to know you and hearing your story. And thank you for being here uh, for sharing uh, some inspiration. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I have been speaking with Patricia Babia Mawa. She is the president of Planet Africa Group. Uh, she wears a number of different hats, but I certainly encourage you to find out more about her and check out her website. Well, if you are interested in finding out more about Extraordinary Women TV, about past guests, past episodes, more about the show, and contact me, I'd encourage you to visit my website at ExtraordinaryWomenTV.com. Well, if you are interested in transforming your life, I hope these stories have inspired you. You've been watching Extraordinary Women TV. I'm Shannon Skinner. See you soon.